Hey guys, welcome to another Peaks of Time guide video. Today we're going to do the, uh, in German it is called Das Verzerte Reich, and the uh, English name for it is uh, the Contorted Realm. All right, I'm just going. I'm just going to skip this one and um, get right to it. Easy peasy. Okay, so attack. All right. So how this quest works is you. Whenever you activate one of these uh, jump doors, teleporters, whatever you want to call them, um, yeah, you have to activate these uh, teleporters, and whenever you walk through one of these doors, you will return to the last activated teleporter. Um, yeah, let me just show you. And also, the platforms, they always disappear once you cross them. There are also some platforms disappear once you get close to them so you you can't get close to them just like this one if you get close to this one it will disappear and many people just have trouble uh, finding the way on on how to get to these upper stages where the best loot is and uh, this guide will hopefully help you with that when I first, first got here I couldn't find any guides, so that's why I'm doing this. I hope I can help you guys uh, clear this quest much faster. Let me get this one. I will do all the fights just to get uh, as many artifacts as possible. Because uh, when you guys reach this for the first time, you will be around 220. Or your units will be around 220. So you will need the artifacts to beat the last teams. Uh, let me take this one. Because the last teams, their power level is at uh, 310. And they're really strong. So without all the artifacts, you cannot beat them. Yeah, let I just I'll let it fight on the auto just because I'm too lazy and my team is winning anyway. Give me cooldown. All right. So this is the main point. If you if I go one step right, this platform will disappear and I won't be able to reach the upper platforms. So the short version is you can activate every other teleporter and just don't go, don't come close to this platform. Just go down here. need help with any other dungeon or quest just let me know in the comment section and I'll make a video for you guys all right activate this teleporter we need this teleporter because we will cross to this platform here and we will use the door and return to this one and also, sometimes if you cross a platform, it won't just disappear, it will move somewhere else. You guys will see after this.
All right. Damn it, I don't need any of this. So, once we cross this platform, it moved up here. And when we use this teleporter, or this door, we will teleport back here, and we can go up here. Got, I'm only getting bad artifacts. Just hope I won't fail in the later stages because of it. With these first enemies, they're no problem. Thank you. Yes. Alright. Like, from this platform on, I could just go up here, fight these guys, and then go left. And as you guys can see... Nope, I'm missing here, a, pl a platform here. Um, but what I want to show you guys is... I need this one. I also need... Uh, yeah, I was a little too quick. Yeah, alright. I think... No, not yet. All right, we'll get to this well short uh, later. Vanquishing these guys. No problem. All right. God damn it! All right. From here on on, I could just go up here and then left. But I want to go show you guys just how to beat all these other teams and get the maximum of artifacts. So if you activate this teleporter, you will always return to this teleporter whenever you use the door. It's not. It's always the last one, and it doesn't matter how often you use it. You will always return to the same one. There's like no limit to how often you can use the teleporter. Yeah, I'm getting absolute trash artifacts. This door, don't use this door, because you will return to this platform, and then it's game over. I'll try to fight these guys. Usually you need better artifacts, maybe it's enough. Um, also, when fighting this team, you will need a lot of DPS. So I recommend um, using a Rosalind, together with your Shimera, and because you need a high damage output to beat these guys with all the healing they have and how strong they are um, you won't be able to beat them otherwise but i hope my standard team can beat them because i'm a little higher in level Alright. 
that worked out fairly well. Let me get this one. Yeah. And then go over here. Like the spider's web is always good. Whenever you can, just pick up the spider's web. Yeah, then go down there. The only time the spider's web isn't useful is when you have, uh, when you go for the um, regular dungeon, like the dungeon you can do all, uh, every two days. And then you fight uh, against Riz, then the spider's web is not that useful because it won't work against them. But otherwise, you can always pick it up. It's always a good choice. It just gives you a head start, 5 seconds of damage. And most times, the fight is already over in this 5 seconds. Let me get some defense. Alright, so as you guys can see the, pop the platforms moved up here and now I can just cross to the upper parts of this dungeon. Just don't get close to that one platform I showed you guys at the start and you'll be peachy. You can also skip fights, you don't have to do them. If you feel confident, you can beat everything. This one, I think there's a bunch of loot up here. You can grab it and then just teleport back and then fight all the other teams in the top. Like the best items are here, here, and here. No, I'm not sure if there's an item here, but the best items are here with uh, after fighting this last four fights. Um, I will make a cut here because I don't want you guys to see me fail. <laughs> um, yeah, all right, that's it. Um, if you guys enjoyed this video or it is uh, any helpful um, to clear this dungeon, uh, a like would be appreciated. And um, yeah, if, have, if you have problems with any other dungeon, just let me know. I can make a video for you guys. And also, um, yeah, if you think my English sucks and you want a video in German, I can do that as well. Uh, Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. Uh, have a great day. Uh, see you in the next video. Thanks so much.